Hello, people of all kinds. Scorching Cliffs here. So I'm designed to just do some random album reviews. Um, not of recent albums, just albums that I, like, as I discover them. Not as they come out, not the most recent stuff, just as I listen to them. And if I like it, it doesn't even matter if I like it, even if I don't like it, if I listen to it, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I might do a review of it. And the most recent album that I've really sort of let sink in finally is Songs of Solitude by Dream on Dreamer. And uh, Dream on Dreamer are uh, by far one of my favorite bands of all time at this point. Just because they're so great at crafting full cohesive, cohesive albums um, as opposed to kind of just loads of songs on one album. Like all their albums feel almost like one giant song but not in like a prog way. More like, um, you know, they've got each album kind of has a different, slightly different sound, um, but you know, they've still got their own style. And they definitely uh, shake things up again on this album with something a bit new, less metalcore. Um, and instead, we're getting more kind of just post hardcore and kind of just rock, like hard rock. I'm actually quite a big fan of this new sound that they found. Um, wasn't such a big fan at first because um, at first I remember listening to this album and sort of feeling like it was. Um, not as melodic as the previous uh, albums, uh, especially the Loveless, which is probably my favorite, definitely my favorite album by them. Probably one of my favorite albums of all time at this point. Um, but uh, then again, when I listened to their first album, uh, Heartbound, um, I felt like that wasn't as melodic. But after listening to it more times, I'm like, yeah, this this is pretty fucking melodic, and it's the same with Songs of Solitude. It's it's actually pretty melodic. One of the biggest differences with their new sound, though, on this album is the actual tone and the vibe of the songs. Because I remember, uh, you know, like Heartbound and the uh, Hopeless, uh, not Hopeless, um, Hope EP. Sorry, um, they almost had this very despairing vibe to it, um, like specifically in the very mul you know in the metalcore sections. Um, but then Loveless was just sort of straight out depressing. And we got something a bit different on this album as well. Well, there is depressing moments. Uh, the vibe's different. And, you know, there's different chords that you can kind of, that kind of create this uh, new vibe. And there's just a lot of atmosphere. There's a lot of quiet moments in this album, I've noticed. And some people might not like that because, you know, songs like Souls on Fire and Society to Anxiety, um, you know, they're like, within the first three tracks on the album, and it doesn't seem like there should be quiet moments on on those tracks. And, like, it's usually, um, well actually no, it's not usually in the bridge. It's like, it comes like right after the first chorus plays, and that's kind of a weird place to put a, a like a slow moment on a song. Um, you know, stick to the bridges maybe, like, like they do on Vertigo. Speaking of Vertigo, that was their first single for this uh, album, and when I first heard it, it didn't exactly get me pumped up for the whole album. Um, I just felt like it was lacking in the, uh, the guitar department, like the guitar riffs just felt kind of bland. Not really that interesting, but uh, the strangest thing, Dream on Dreamer songs just always, or, or their albums even, just I never liked them at first, but then they just grow on me and they just get so good. That's exactly what Vertigo and this pretty much entire album did for me. I um, um, wasn't that interested in, in it at first, but as you keep coming back, you start to notice all the melodic elements that were actually there the whole time, but I didn't exactly notice. Like on Vertigo, um, you know, like I said, the, the guitars aren't that interesting during the verses, and that kind of put me off, but uh, pay attention to the chorus, because the chorus is pretty damn melodic. Um, well, in terms of the guitars, and it, I think it really uh, emphasizes this idea of uh, sort of spinning out, spinning out of control, which really ties in with the, the video of the song and the name of it. Um, by the way, don't um, don't watch the video if you've got epilepsy. I found that the quiet moments on this album work best when it's actually a, like a slow song, uh, like Snowpiercer or Violent Pictures or Delirium where it actually builds up, because uh, songs like Souls on Fire and uh, Society to Anxiety kind of do the opposite, like, they start off with all this energy and it's all great um, and powerful, but then it kind of tones things down towards the end or like just in the middle of the song and it feels like it's almost going backwards to what um, 
as opposed to like Snowpiercer and Delirium where it actually builds up and gets more epic as it goes along. The thing for this album that I am actually really liking is the new vocals from uh, both both vocalists, uh, Marcel and uh, Zachary. Um, first of all, uh, Marcel, his <laughs> his vocals, he's actually started kind of singing, um, but it's not it's not just like uh, soft vocals. Like he did that, that on um, that uh, standalone single, "Don't Lose Your Heart." Um, but on this album, he actually sings, but he still keeps that power to his voice, and it's really fucking powerful. Like. He gets a lot out of this, out of his voice, and I kind of wish that he'd done it a little bit more on this album, like maybe sung some choruses with um, that powerful voice. Um, but instead, we only really hear it on songs like "Open Sun." As for Zachary, um, his vocals are still great. I've always found his vocals to be very um, uh, fitting for this kind of music, but um, he, even his vocals have gotten even better. Um, you know, like Marcel, he's learned to sing. And Zachary's kind of learned to scream a bit, or like really um, lift the imitation in his voice, um, especially on songs like Violent Pitches, where it's kind of very acoustic. Um, you know that song really emphasizes his voice. Uh, Snowpiercer as well. That's uh, that's pretty much entirely his song. Marcel doesn't get any any vocals on that song, <laughs> but it really shows off um, kind of his how, how uh, powerful he can get at certain points. Uh, Vertigo as well, he even has a bit where he screams on that song. But for the most part you still get like the switching of vocals between the two. Honestly I do wish that there were a bit more melodic guitars in places. Um, there's definitely parts in songs where it feels like there could be more melodic guitars, but there's also some pretty epic guitarists, pretty fucking awesome guitarists I should say. Uh, you know, Souls Like Fire, the way that kicks off um, right after that opening uh, screaming part. Um, the main guitar riff comes in, that's awesome. Um, other songs like, uh, like Society to Anxiety, again, um, that, that main riff is awesome as well. I think my favorite overall song has got to be, uh, Open Sun, just cause of, uh, first of all, you get these nice piano riffs, you know, there you go, atmosphere again. It does build up properly, like, as opposed to, like, getting quieter as the song goes on. Uh, although it does kind of drop a little bit after it's, uh, built up. Uh, with uh, Marcel's actual singing, um, but then we get the chorus. I fucking love the chorus for this song. It just, you know, that bit where he's like, I want you to feel... Um, yeah, <laughs> I probably made that sound really poppy, but um, I don't know, it just, it, it has that tone, it has that atmosphere that I just love. It's got that uh, hard rock feel to it, and also then there's the ending, which I also really like, where uh, Marcel goes, you got some fucking nerve, kid! One of the weaker moments on this album for me is the song Innocence, which is, um... It just feels too short. It's like, it's not even two and a half minutes long. It's just under that, and it doesn't accomplish much in that time. There is some good moments, but it leaves the song feeling a bit incomplete, and, like, the, the most I remember about that song is just that pretty cool drum beat that you get. You know, overall, this album, uh, like I say, it's like a giant song. Uh, this same tone kind of runs throughout all of it and makes it really cohesive. Um, and I can't wait to see what they do with the next album because I'm guessing that's going to have its own kind of tone to it as well. Uh, that's kind of different from this. So, definitely looking forward to that. Another quick thing I want to just add is that. Uh, this is something probably only I care about, but they've started adding odd time signatures to the, some of their songs, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Like the start of Souls on Fire, or uh, the song Pariah, um, you know, those two songs have just bits of odd time signatures where there's just like extra notes that just are so subtle, you like wouldn't think that was weird, but it, it is weird. Um, it's odd time signatures. Okay, so that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed. Um, what did you, uh, leave in the comments what you thought of this album if you've listened to it. Uh, if you haven't and you're a fan of Dreamer Dreamer, I urge you to go check it out. You might like their new style, you might not. It's It might be polarizing. I've heard some fans kind of say that they're not really happy with this new album. I'm pretty happy with it. Even though it doesn't really top um, their previous two albums in my opinion, it does kind of feel like the weakest album. I, I think it's just a little bit too short, honestly. It's, uh, I think it's under 40 minutes, which, uh, you know, it just needs to be a bit longer. Either add more tracks to the album, or 
just have songs like Innocence just sort of accomplish more, be a bit longer. Um, but yeah, that's all I've really got to say for this album, so leave suggestions for other albums for me to review. Blah, blah. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe, like, uh, tell me what you think, and suggest other things for me to review. Did I say that already? I don't... Ta-ta. Uh,